Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very, very powerful video of algebraic challenging equations. Here we are going to simplify two Math Olympiad questions. Question number one is square root 85 minus square root 7000 plus square root 85 plus square root 7000. This value we need to find out. So let's get started by considering this value as A. And 85 plus square root 7000 as B. Now I can conclude one thing. Square root 7000 we know it is 83.66. So one conclusion is straight away clear. A must be positive and B must be positive. Once A is positive, B is positive, we can conclude square root A plus square root B must be always positive. Why I am doing this? You must be thinking why I am doing this because see here it is square root A plus square root B we are going to simplify. Okay. Let's write now A and B values separately. So I will write A is equal to 85 minus square root 7000. B is 85 plus square root 7000. Once I will add both, I will collect A plus B, which will be equal to 85 plus 85, 170. This term will be over. Now I will take the product of A and B, because that will be required. A times B, let me write here A. A is 85 minus square root 7000 times 85 plus square root 7000. Now one identity is there that is a plus b a minus b. So if I will consider this is a minus b and this is a plus b then we can write one identity difference of two squares which is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So here we will write 85 square minus square root 7000 square. Okay, let's take the square of 85 which is equal to 7225. And this is straight away clear 7000. So the difference is 225. So what we concluded so far, what we concluded so far, that is A plus B 170, A times B 225 and what is our target? We have to find out square root A plus square root B and keeping this thing in mind, this value would be positive always as A and B are positive. If it is not so, then complex solution will come. Okay. Let's find out root A plus root B. So what I will do here, I will consider root A plus root B whole square. This identity, if I will apply A plus B whole square, so I will write A root A square, that is A root B square, that is B plus 2 times AB. So here AB is square root A square root B. So let me write here square root AB. As we know, square root A times square root B is square root AB. Let's put the value. This value is 170 and AB is 225. So let's put. So I will write root A plus root B whole square. This value will be equal to 170 plus 2 square root double 2 5. And square root double 2 5 is 15. So we can write 2 times 15. It will become 170 plus 30. So it will give us 200. Taking square root both sides. So let me write here square root A plus square root B whole square. Once I will take square root both sides, I will write square root A plus square root B 
that would be equal to plus minus square root 200. So we can think about square root 200 as 100 times 2. Now 100 will come out from the square root. So it will give us plus minus 10 root 2. Now question arises. We will reject minus sign as we have already proved that A is positive, B is positive. So square root A plus square root B would be always positive. So we will reject this minus sign. So our final answer becomes this value will be square root A plus square root B that would be 10 root 2. This is our answer. Now question number 2. Find the product 1 minus 1 by 4, 1 minus 1 by 9 up to 1 minus 1 over 9801. Now we know that it is 4 is 2 square, 9 is 3 square, 9801 is 99 square. So I will write in this way. It is 1 minus half whole square. Then second term we can write 1 minus 1 by 3 whole square. And last term we can write 1 minus 1 over 99 whole square. Now same identity a square minus b square. Let me write here a square minus b square it is equal to a plus b times a minus b. I am writing quickly because you won't expect I am writing second time. That is why let me write here the expansion. So I will write 1 plus 1 by 2. 1 minus 1 by 2. Similarly I will write 1 plus 1 by 3. 1 minus 1 by 3. Difference of 2 squares. And last term would be 1 plus 1 by 99. 1 minus 1 by 99. Now I will collect all plus 1 in one place. So I will write 1 plus half, 1 plus 1 by 3 up to last term would be 1 plus 1 over 99. This is our first basket. Second basket, they are in product. So that would be in the product form itself. So 1 minus 1 by 2. Second term would be 1 minus 1 by 3 dot dot last term would be 1 minus 1 over 99. Let's add all. So I will write here 1 plus 1 by 2 that is 3 over 2 times 1 plus 1 by 3 that is 4 over 3. If you will write next term, it would be 5 over 4 in the same order. And up to the last value we will write, that would be 99 plus 1, so 100 over 99. This bracket is done. Now second bracket. 1 minus 1 by 2, 1 by 2 times 1 minus 1 by 3, 2 by 3 times. Next term if you will write, 3 by 4. And last term if you will write 99 minus 1, 98 over 99. Now see in which pattern they will cancel each other. So I can see this 3, 3 will be over, 4, 4 will be over, 5 will be the next denominator and see 99 will be cancelled with the previous one. So what is left overall? 100 over 2 from the first bracket. Now let's check this pattern in the second bracket. So I can see 2, 2 will be over, 3, 3 will be over. Similarly, 4 will be cancelled with this one. And similarly, 98 will be cancelled with this one, the previous one fraction. That would be 98 over 97. Similarly, everything will be cancelled out. So what is left over there? 1 over 99. Now I will 100 over 2, I will write 50. So it will be 50 times 1 over 99. So our answer will become 50 over 99. This is our final answer. I hope you like this video. This will be meaningful for you.
डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब बाय टिल नेक्स्ट वीडियो गुड लक